Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Geek Dad Report versus the NFL. I'm Brian West, and I'm going to be your guide tonight through all my Week 13 predictions of the 2017 NFL season. That's right. I'm going to be telling you who all the winners are going to be, all the losers are going to be, and all that weird mumbo-jumbo in between. Probably going to be a few fights this week. Seems to happen every single week now. Uh, But I'm going to tell you which teams you should put all your faith, stock, and possible cash into, and which teams you should avoid. Like, like they got, like they got a real bad flu, and they're vomiting on everything, and they're just like, hey, I want to kiss you, and they got like a little, little vomit hanging out of their mouth, they're like, I'm not feeling so good, but bring it in for the real deal. No! Get the hell out of here. You want to avoid them, like you want to avoid some of the teams we're going to talk about this week. Uh, but first... Last week, didn't go 16-0, really kind of hoped I was going to get that magical unicorn week. Maybe one week it's going to happen. Apparently it wasn't last week. But I did go 11-5, which brings me squarely to six games over 500. So, pretty good on the season. That makes me happy. Uh, we're going to try and keep the winning winning streak going here with uh, with our picks for this week. So, uh, real quick, last week, Ryan wanted me to let you guys know that he went also went 11-5 last week. So, um his, uh, his streak of bragging how much better of an NFL picker he is than me is officially over. So, in the immortal words of, uh, well, of me, you can suck it, Ryan. Woo! Ha-ha! How's that feel? Mm, 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 mm. And I'm going to do better than you. I'm putting that on record right now. Uh, as always, we got Ryan's picks at the end of the show, so I'll let you guys, uh, I'll give you guys those. So, if you're playing along with me and him, uh, I don't know. I don't know where our record is against each other, but we're going to just say that I'm winning it. We're just gonna, and we're gonna just move on from there. But uh, I'll let you guys know Ryan's picks next week, and uh, just a little heads up, quick, uh, quick show notes going forward. Me and Ryan may alternate a few uh, weeks as we go on. He enjoys doing this as well, and you guys seem to respond well to him uh, also hosting this. So we're gonna bow back and forth through the last five weeks of the season. Uh, I think five weeks, four or five weeks of the season, and then uh, during the playoffs, we're gonna do it. We're gonna host it together. So. Uh, we would do that normally, but I already ramble enough for both of us. So uh, we decided that in the playoffs, when there's less games, we can do it together. But uh, just just a heads up, Ryan will be back on the show at some point. He was going to do it this week, but apparently his his uh, his Hall of Fame sports coat needed to be dry cleaned, and he said he couldn't do the show without it. So uh, whatever. God, what a what a prima donna. Anyway, on to the on to the, on to the games this week. That's enough of last week. It's enough of last week. It's enough of me. Uh, being better than Ryan, and uh, we'll just move on. So hopefully you guys, hope you guys actually took our advice last week. Because if you did, you went eleven and five. Though we do not uh, necessarily pride ourselves as being a gambling show. If you wanted to bet some money, you should have listened to our picks last week. Eleven and five, that would have won you some cash, at least in my opinion. But uh, all right, first up, Thursday night football. Everybody, we have an NFC, a classic NFC East rivalry game. We have the Washington Native Americans taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, whew, there's, man, this game. Talk about uh, probable stink fest. The Cowboys are awful. They have lost three in a row. Dak, you know, the whole little Dak to the future, little thing that floated around when, when Dak was uh, really good last year. Well, I'm pretty sure he wished he's had a DeLorean and could go back in time till last year because right now he is terrible. He can't throw a ball. He's got like just happy feet. He's running around the back riding. Oh, no, don't hit me. Interception. Terrible. Ter- Des Bryant, you're not a number one receiver. So Dak has no number one receiver. His running back is like on a beach in Miami. Um, his coach apparently doesn't know how to play. He doesn't know how to call, call plays. I, you know what? The defense, apparently the running game is key to Dallas also playing defense. And since that's gone, their defense is also gone. Um, they're just a bad team. Washington isn't really that much better of a team, but they're scrappy. Um, they're one of those teams that can show up in any given week and, and win. They beat the glorious, illustrious Seahawks. So, I mean, obviously they're pretty decent. Uh, and even though this is a road game, uh, when Washington Americans coming off a bad loss last week, I think they're going to bounce back. And I think they're going to hand Dallas their fourth loss in a row. I'm going Washington in this game. Probably in a close one because it's a division game over the Cowboys. Sorry, Dallas fans. Not your year. <laughs> Couldn't happen to a better fan base. <laughs> Sorry. I got some family members who are Cowboy fans, and they are insufferable. I don't care about all them Super Bowl <laughs> rings you won back when, like, uh, Jack and Rose were on the Titanic. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Yes, I know. You won, like, three in a row. 
You were really good, like, in the 90s. There are some people who are watching this who weren't alive in the 90s. Let it go. Be like Elsa and let it go. Anyway, how about Seahawks? Yeah! Uh, yeah, for those of you who are wondering why I'm wearing all the Seahawks gear, got 12th man right back there, little Hawks. Got Russell Wilson bobblehead over there somewhere. Um, I am a self-proclaimed massive homer, and I pick the Hawks to win every single week. So if I seem like a giant hometown homer fan, it is because I am a giant hometown homer fan. I don't know if that's a real sentence, but it is tonight. So anyway, yes, if you're like, who's this, like, who's this loser the Seahawks gear on? Well, just hometown, hometown grown. Love me some Seahawks. Anyway, moving on. All right, our first our first game on Sunday, we got the Vikings traveling to Atlanta. The red hot Vikings traveling to the eh, pretty hot Falcons. Uh, you know what? I don't know. The Vikings are doing everything right. Casey Kasem, uh, other than you know dishing out top fifty hits, is also dishing out touchdowns like they're going out of style. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I know what you're asking. When's that Casey Kasem joke gonna run run out? Never. <laughs> Maybe it will. But, uh, you know, Falcons winner of two straight. Julio Jones went off last week for about 250,000 yards receiving. Yeah, they're playing at home. Should be a good game. Should be a close game. But I'm going to say the Vikings, man. I'm going to continue to ride the Vikings. They look really good. They're playing solid defense. They're playing great offense. And they're just they're just handing it to everybody. So I think the Vikings are going to go into Atlanta and get this one done. Uh, unfortunately, I think he, the, uh, the Falcons winning streak is coming to an end. And... Uh, the big uh, purple people leaders are going to head into town and take care of it. They're going to have some Falcon for lunch. So I'm taking the Vikings over the Falcons. Uh, next up, we got Houston traveling to Tennessee. Houston is a mess. Tom Savage is a disaster. They have a decent running game, but their their defense is like a mash unit. Um, the Titans really aren't playing that well. Marcus Mariota apparently uh, pulled a hammy and lost his ability to throw the ball a few weeks ago. That being said, Tennessee still has the better running game. They have a fairly solid defense most of the time and they're playing at home so i'm going to take the titans in this one uh next up the chiefs are heading to new york so i don't know if you're going to call this an upset now normally the chiefs i would pick them going away but the chiefs right now are a disaster they are imploding they cannot win a game uh there was a screen pass a screen pass last week where two players did not know that each other was supposed to get the ball, and they both went for the screen pass. They can't even complete a screen pass. Alex Smith is a disaster. To, uh, oh, what is his name? I don't remember. <laughs> the running back, I was going to say Tyreek. <laughs> can't speak either. Uh, anyway, their team sucks right now. They've, they're just bad. I, I don't know what to tell you. The Jets are scrappy. They actually play pretty good at home. Um, you know, I'm going to take the team that I can't name their players apparently. And, uh, I'm going to say they're going to lose in, in New York. The jets are going to find a way. The J E T S jets, jets, jets are going to get it done against Tyreek Hill and something hunt. God, I can't remember people's names. You know what? That's how relevant you've become Kansas city. I don't remember your players names. I know Alex Smith. That guy's terrible, too. Whatever. Get out of here. Chiefs, out. So I know that's an upset because the Chiefs, the Chiefs have been really bad, but I'm calling it. Jets, at home. Uh, let's see. What do we have next on the docket? We have Denver traveling to Miami. Man, this is going to be a bad game. Talk about two terrible teams. I think uh, Jay Cutler, smoking Jay Cutler, is going to be back for Miami. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, the Broncos, Think luckily, Paxton Lynch went down with an ankle injury. Thank all the sweet baby Jesus is in Denver because that dude cannot play quarterback. Um, Trevor Simeon, who hasn't been that much better, is going to be the starter. <sighs> the Dolphins, I don't know. You know what? Whatever. D Broncos are going to win. I just, what kind of analysis do you need? The Dolphins are like this perennial, like eight and eight, seven and nine team who just kind of win occasionally. And the Broncos have had such a bad run at quarterback that I just don't. You know, I changed my mind. The Dolphins are going to win this game. <laughs> They're at home. Why not? I'm taking the home teams in this one. Dolphins over the Broncos. Probably not. But, you know, why not? Sure. The Dolphins. Taking the Dolphins. Or should I take the Broncos? I'm so confused. Let's see. Trevor Simeon is bad. CJ Anderson isn't that good. 
Demarius Thomas is really good. Cutler throws a lot of interceptions. I'm going to take... You know, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to take... Nope, I'm taking Miami. Moving on. <laughs> Indianapolis is heading down to Jacksonville to play Jax the Jaguars, who lost last week and are very angry about that. And uh, in one of our big upset games last week, Jacksonville is going to take it out on the Colts, and the Colts are going to get throttled. So uh, take Jacksonville in this one. Pa Buccaneers are traveling to Lambeau. Now, I take what I said about Brett Hundley last week. Uh, I said he couldn't play quarterback, and he was a disaster. That actually was not factual. This week he played really well against the Steelers and almost beat them. Uh, but he didn't, so you only get uh, you only get – Close only cookouts and horseshoes and hand grenades, and this is neither one of those. So, sorry, Hunley, you're still a loser. But you were luckily for you, you are getting the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who are bigger losers than you, and you're playing at home. I'm going to say that Brett Hunley is going to get this W. Uh, Brett Huntley is going to get this W in Lambeau against the just lifeless Buccaneers. Ugh, they're terrible. They're the worst Pirates. No buyers. You know what? If you were like back in Jack Sparrow days and you're sailing on the open waters and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers showed up and they wanted to loot you, you'd probably laugh at them, throw a cannonball at them, and they'd probably sink their whole boat. You wouldn't even have to shoot it. you just throw a couple, and the boat would just sink. I mean, I'm sure Jameis Winston would be on the back eating some crab legs, probably crying about a sinking boat, but whatever. That's what the Buccaneers are. They're a pirate ship that's sinking slowly into the... Atlantic Ocean. Moving on. Lions are going to Baltimore to take on the surprisingly good at home Baltimore Ravens. Actually, I've been saying that all year on this show. Uh, Lions, devastating loss on Christmas, or on Christmas, on Thanksgiving. Um, Ravens coming off a pretty good win at home against Houston. I think the Ravens are probably the better home team, but I think the Lions have got to win this game to stay relevant in their division or else the Vikings are just going to run away with this. So I'm going to say the Lions are going to dig down deep and they're going to find a way to beat Baltimore at home. I'm thinking of the Lions. Uh, uh, New England, one of the hottest teams in football, is traveling to one of the worst places in America, Buffalo, to play the Bills, who aren't really good at offense. They're really bad at defense. And Tom Brady's throwing like nine touchdowns a game. So this one's pretty easy. The Patriots are going to roll over the Buffalo Bills. Nobody circles the wagons? Well, nobody circles the wagons and it gets trampled over by New England, quite like the Buffalo Bills. New England. Uh, Niners are heading to Chicago in a battle of really bad teams. The Bears coming off a of just absolute butt whipping from Philadelphia. Um, generally play pretty good at home. However, I think... Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo was going to make his first start for the Niners, and uh, judging what he did in two throws against the Seattle Seahawks, that dude looks like mini Tom Brady. The Niners do not have the talent that New England has. However, I do not think that's going to stop Garoppolo. I think Garoppolo is going to have a pretty good game, and I think he's going to find a way to beat Chicago. I'm going to say Chicago is going down. The Niners are taking him out. The Niners are going to get their second win of the season, and Garoppolo is going to get his first victory, giving hope. Giving a little fool's gold hope to the San Francisco 49ers. Niners over the Bears. Browns heading to L.A. I'm not going to talk about this game. The Browns are the Browns. I bet on you last week, the Browns. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. Shame on, well, in the immortal words of George W. Bush, all I'm saying is you ain't fool me again. That's all I'm saying. Browns, you're out. L.A., you're in. Chargers is going to win this one. Probably in a landslide. Giants. <laughs> the Eli manning Giants, who's been benched. McAdoo, what is your deal? Like I said last week, McAdoo, you Maca don't have any talent as a coach. <laughs> You're out of here. You're going to bench Eli Manning in New York. Your team is going nowhere. You won like two games. You got beat by the Niners. The non-Jimmy Garoppolo Niners. Come on, man. You're just... Let Eli ride it out and be done with it. But whatever. They're traveling to Oakland, who's missing 15 of their players because they decided to have a UFC, impromptu UFC fight uh, last week against the Broncos. So, you know, that being said, the Raiders, they're going to win this at home. Probably. They're mediocre, but the Giants are terrible. So, Raiders at home. Panthers are, uh, Panthers are taking their show on the road, and they're going to go play New Orleans, who had a devastating loss last week against the Rams. Devastating because I'm devastated because I really need the Rams to lose so Seattle can get back into first place. 
But whatever, St. Louis. We'll handle our own. Well, St. Louis. Don't worry, New Orleans. We'll handle our own business. We'll take care of the Rams after we take care of Philly. Spoiler alert. Taking Seattle. <laughs> All right. Panthers, Saints. You know, this is going to be a really good game. Um, I think both teams are 8-3. and three. A- NFC South, huge game. Big implications for the playoffs. Um, I don't think the Saints are going to lose two in a row and they're playing at home. As good as the Panthers have been playing, I think the Saints are going to get this done. It's going to be a close game. Might be, uh, if not for the Sunday night game, what I'd say would probably be the game of the week. But uh, Panthers are going down. They're going to be tamed by the New by the New Orleans by the New Orleans Saints taking care of business. All right, Rams, Cardinals, NFC West division rivals. The Rams pulled off the huge victory against New Orleans, and now they're taking their they're taking their great freaking offense down to Arizona to play Blaine Gabbert. Blaine Gabbert and the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, the, everything's, every logic says I should pick the Rams, and I probably should pick the Rams, but I'm not going to pick the Rams because I don't do that on this show. I'm going to say the Cardinals are going to find some way, somehow, to win this game, and they're going to beat the Rams. The Rams, are, 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 they're a young team, coming off an emotional high, beating the Saints. It's a good game, and they're just going to just think they're going to show up to Arizona. They're just going to roll Arizona. I don't think so. Arizona's got a message for you. They want the Seahawks to win the division, so they're going to beat the Rams. Taking the Cardinals. Why not? Told you I got to make crazy picks on this show. All right. Game of the week, everybody. The Philadelphia Eagles, the 10-1 and Philadelphia Eagles, are traveling to Seattle, where they are going to get soundly beat by the beloved, blessed Seahawks. Probably not soundly, and by soundly I mean probably like one point on a last second Russell Wilson touchdown to probably Jimmy Graham. But uh, I'm calling it, man. And I got a couple big reasons, some real key reasons why Philadelphia cannot win. Number one, Philadelphia's quarterback has a stupid name. Okay, Carson Wentz, what kind of name is that? The only Winston he's going to be doing is when Sheldon Richardson's fat butt lands right on his head. He's going to be like, ow, my name's Carson Wentz because I'm in pain. When he gets a when he gets a Frank Clark, Sheldon Richardson, Michael Bennett, triple decker sandwich, he'll be Winston. Ha! And number two, we're going to win this because the 12th man is going to be there. All right. The 12th man is going to be loud. We very rarely lose primetime games. We're not going to lose back-to-back primetime games. And you know what? Everybody's counting us up. This is the biggest home underdog the Seahawks have been in the Russell since Russell Wilson's rookie season. And if the Hawks do anything well, it's thrive. Thrive on the doubters and the haters. Mark it on your calendar. The reigning, well, not even champ, but the heavyweight kind of title champion right now, Philadelphia Eagles are going down to the scrappy St. Russell-led Seattle Seahawks. Calling it now. 12th man. Stupid name quarterbacks going down. Mm. Hawks. And a big one. We need this one. Anyway, all right, moving on. Hopefully, Barrel Wash doesn't have to kick the game-winning field goal. Then it's, that might be a different story. But we're not going to talk about that. Hopefully, if it's 4th and 80, Carroll just says, screw it, I'm going for it. All right, last game of the week, Steelers are going to the uh, Cincinnati Bungles to play the really bad Bengals. I mean, they're kind of okay right now, but Steelers, you know, the Steelers are surprisingly not as good as their 9-2 record are saying. Um, I think they're due for a letdown. Oh, am I calling another crazy upset? I think I am. They almost lost to the Aaron Rodgers list. Packers. I'm going to say Mixon... Joe Mixon's going to run wild on uh, on the Steelers when they come to Cincinnati. I said all that already. Whatever. Bengals, you know what? They're going to find some magic in an interdivisional game, and they're going to beat the Steelers. Monday Night Football, marking on the calendar. Steelers are going down. Ryan's going to be so mad. I literally picked against all of his. Oh, yeah, but you know what? I picked Packers. You should like that one. All right, guys, that's my picks. A lot of them are crazy this week. We're about to, we're about to see if I know what I'm talking about or if I don't. Uh, but... Uh, Whatever. Let me know your guys' picks in the comments below. And before we get out of here, let me see. Ryan wanted everybody to know that he had some picks. And I'm stalling because I'm pulling them up. All right, here we go. Ryan has the Cowboys, the Falcons, the Patriots, the Bears, the Packers, the Titans, the Dolphins, the Chiefs, the Jaguars, the Lions, the Chargers, the Raiders, the Saints, the Rams, the Eagles, and the Steelers. So me and him are uh, different on most of our picks. So we are really going to separate and we're going to see who the big winner and the big loser are, loser is. 
can't even speak. I gotta get out of here. Next week between me and Ryan. And like I said, let me know your guys' picks. And if you guys want to play along at home, post them in the comments and tell us what you think. Uh, thanks for joining us. You can always find us at the Geek Dad Reports. Uh, dot com uh, at Facebook at Geek Dad Report on Twitter at the Geek Dad Report. You can find me at, Big, at <laughs> God, I can't speak. You can find me at Brian West fifty three, or you can find Ryan at Big Bruiser uh, on Twitter. And uh, we are not on Instagram or any of those other fun places yet. Maybe one day. But uh, but thanks for playing along. And as always, you can find us on YouTube. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Go Hawks! Post your post your picks in the comments, and we'll play along. I might even read them off next week if you have a better better selections than me but anyway until next week everybody go hawks man